Okay, so it's been about a month since I have had these John Doe jeans and uh, I've given them a good run for their money. I have moved the armor around, got it in a position that I like, and I think I'm now at a position where I can give you an informed review on what I think of them. So the first things first, they are single layer jean and very, very comfortable, um, straight out the back. Put them on, um, the hip armor is beautiful, definitely the best of the lot, um, and they just feel great. Now, Something to bear in mind on feel, um, they're not jeans. They look like jeans, but they are not jeans. They're not constructed from denim. They may have a little bit in there, but they are constructed from, uh, you know, their version of uh, Dyneema, Kajura, whatever they use in it. That gives it the AAA um, abrasion resistance. You don't care what they're made of, you just care that they've got the safety rating. Um, so when you put them on, they do not feel like jeans, but they feel really comfortable. Um, the way I would describe them is they're actually a little bit more like leggings. Um, they're, they're thicker than jeans. They're kind of like a cross between a jean and a tracksuit bottom, um, but they are a bit tighter fitting, or at least the cut that I've got is. Um, the armor is thin and it's breathable. When you're on the bike, these flow a lot of air. So definitely, um, I mean, I tested them back to back with my Revit Lombard 2s, um, which have the internal sort of liner, if you like, behind that gives it the abrasion. And uh, these flowed more air, they were more comfortable off the bike as well because they just don't feel as tough. They feel soft and malleable and stretchy. Um, there's not loads of stretch to it, but they're pretty good and I will have videos up of me walking around so you can see the fit and the style. Um, so when choosing these, there was a choice between two pairs of single layer jeans, both around the sort of 250 price point, and that was these John Doe's and then the Knox Shield. Um, now the reason I punted for the John Doe's is just because I'm a fan of Knox, love Knox, um, but I'm holding out for them to update their shields with the newer um, knee armor in it. Um, and that is actually the complaint I've got on the John Doe's. Although off the back, the John Doe's are more comfortable, they're softer, which I just described. Um, I think the Knox would probably break in and be comfortable, maybe not as comfortable. The hip armor certainly won't compete with these John Doe's, it's amazing. Um, but the knee armor is the complaint. Um, although they use this thin stuff, and I'll put a picture up there, and although you can change the position, it falls into that category again, where because they've gone for the thin side, where if I stand up, you can't really notice it that much, um, you know, when I move around here, unless you're really looking for it, you don't notice that the armor's there. But because it is thin, it, it just creases on itself and if it's not quite in the right space in, in the right place you know you know it's it's starting to rub against you and, and uh, sometimes you'll be on the bike like here where i'm sitting now this is correct when i've got it on the bike but it's not correct when i'm sitting here you can see the armor is over here and look it's pinching and it's sticking out on this side but i've got no protection now here on the outside so the armor isn't wrapping around, and that is something Knox do really well. I mean, they're an armor company. They have the zips where you can put the armor in and out from the outside. The reason I punted for the John Doe's is because although I love Knox and that concept of taking the armor in and out, for me, when I come to work, I have a pair of jeans in my bag, um, you know, and I basically have given up on trying to make bike gear work with my work gear, um, just because it, it never really does it enough. So for me, I just wanted a pair of jeans where, you know, they're, they're bike specific, but if I get to somewhere I can get off. I went to the bike shed um, show in London at Tobacco Docks, walking around for like two, three hours um, in these, absolutely fine, sort of at about the three hour point, that's when you're like, yeah, they're a bit, you know, hot and um, I would like to take the armor out at this point. If you did take the armor out, these are a fantastic jean on their own. Um, T temperature today is 20s and I've worn them in, in the sort of 22 degree range and they're, they're too hot to be wearing off the bike at that temperature, but on the bike, they're as good as you're gonna get unless you get a mesh pant. Um, obviously, they're as good as you're gonna get as a motorcycle jean off the bike as well, but that's why I say when I get to where I'm going, I pull out you know my, my regular pair of jeans and put them on. Um, 
for winter time or autumn, then yeah, they, they have a bit more dual, dual use, if you like. And that's something to bear in mind between the Knox Shield and the John Doe. Um, but another reason as well is the John Doe had this colorway, which the Knox only had the black and the dark blue, which is a little bit smarter. And I wanted something just a little bit more casual. So, uh, so yeah, overall, I think value for money, they're 250 pound, which is, you know, an investment for a pair of jeans, um, twice the money really. You know, you can get a pair for, we can even get a pair of bullets for like a hundred pound. But 150 to 200 pound is really a good quality, um, uh, you know, double layer jean. For a single layer, 250 is where they start. You're not gonna get it any cheaper than that unless they're in a sale. And um, yeah, these are absolute, I'm really happy with them. Um, I probably will pick up a pair of the Knox Shields as well, um, you know, for having, the two in summer, uh, so if one's in the wash, I can be wearing the other. But yeah, um, really comfy, really lovely on the bike. Um, the only complaint is the knee coverage um, on the armor and the fact that because it's thin, it's not molded so much around the jean. Um, that's something for them to correct later, but um, AAA rated, very comfy, um, look fantastic. Flow, loads of air. Um, what more can you say?